In this video, we are going to be talking about how llama antibodies might be a treatment for COVID-19. And researchers at the University of Texas in Austin are currently performing preclinical trials to see if their engineered llama antibodies are having any medical impacts on helping other animals fight off COVID-19. And so to give some background on this, because it's really interesting and somewhat surprising, uh, what's happening here is that the research group at UTA was originally looking at llamas and how they fought off SARS-CoV-1. SARS-CoV-1 is the original SARS virus, which came out many years ago. And what they were doing is they were taking the spike proteins from SARS-CoV-1. They were dosing llamas with it, specifically a four-year-old llama named Winter and after dosing the llama with the spike proteins, they made the llama's immune system generate a response. And llama immune systems are very interesting in that when humans are exposed to a pathogen such as the coronavirus, we secrete antibodies, and llamas secrete a similar antibody, but in addition to that, they secrete something that's a little bit smaller than that antibody, and it's called a nanobody. And it's about one quarter the size of an antibody. And so the reason that size matters a lot here is that with these nanobodies that the llamas are secreting, they are small enough to the point at which we might be able to inhale them through some kind of nebulizer or an inhaler. And that's very, very important to us because the coronavirus is a respiratory virus. It's going after your respiratory cells. And so if we can come up with medications that are able to basically be breathed into your system, we're able to get medications right where they're needed, right on the front lines where the coronavirus is trying to infect new cells. And so what the team did is they basically, after they had been studying the SARS-CoV-1 virus and its spike proteins and how llamas were fighting that, they had already had a bunch of these llama nanobodies floating around. And when COVID-19 happened, a, they decided to look at if there was any affinity for these spike proteins on the coronavirus and the llama's nanobodies for the COVID-1 virus. And so what they found originally was that there was a weak affinity for these two objects. You've got the llama nanobody and then you've also got the spike proteins on the coronavirus. And so what they did is they basically took two of the llama nanobodies, they link them together to form an engineered llama antibody, and I'm going to represent that with these green dots, and what they found is that these green, or these engineered llama antibodies have very high affinity for the spike proteins on the coronavirus. And so on a well plate in vitro, they're able to show that you're able to stick these engineered llama antibodies onto the spike proteins of the coronavirus. And this is very promising news because what this means is that these engineered antibodies might be very effective at neutralizing coronaviruses. And so what happens when we don't have any kind of neutralizing antibodies present is the coronaviruses are able to use their spike proteins, which I'm representing with these little plastic nubs here. And so when these spike proteins come into contact with host cells, it's used to help the coronavirus inject its genetic payload into these host cells. So when we have antibodies that stick onto these spike proteins, and we basically have so many that we are able to stick antibodies on all of these spike proteins, this coronavirus can't perform its normal infection pathway, so the spike proteins are unable to actually do any of their job of binding onto that host membrane and injecting that genetic payload. And so if we're able to figure out what kind of antibodies have this great affinity, but also safe and effective in human beings, then we might have a very promising treatment for COVID-19. And so all this being said, there still is a lot of work that needs to be done in terms of proving safety and efficacy of these treatments. And what the researchers are currently doing is they're taking the engineered llama antibodies and they're trying it in different species Right now, I think they're at hamsters, and in these hamsters, they're trying to see if these antibodies are able to help save hamsters, hamsters who have been infected by the coronavirus. And so from there, if things are looking good, the next steps would be 
actually moving this into clinical trials where we're involving human beings now and we would do a phase one trial to make sure that this thing is actually safe and then in a phase two trials where people would begin figuring out if it's effective as well and so uh, the jury is still out on all this stuff we're still learning if this is going to be a valid treatment option but best case scenario we do develop some kind of valid treatment uh, and it's this is a treatment I want to emphasize this point because these are antibody therapies and what that means is that these antibody therapies would be administered to people who have already been infected by the coronavirus and so this is basically another tool in the toolbox of healthcare professionals that they could use to save the lives of people who are fighting to stay alive and so um, this is very good news potentially for people who have pre-existing health conditions such as uh, cardiovascular diseases or diabetes as well as elderly patients and in addition to that it's also something that could really help out with healthcare professionals who are constantly exposed to the coronavirus right now these antibodies potentially could make use for a very good treatment option so all this stuff is in the pipeline we're still learning about it we're still trying to prove that it's safe and effective in humans and I just I think it would be very cool to share this stuff with you guys. So feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Thank you all for watching. Please stay safe and wash your hands, and I'll talk to you next time.